What's up? Doing a full walk around on the build because I've had it request a couple times. Um, so I'm going to start with the subs and then I'll do the sub amps and then I'll go to my mids and then I'll go to my highs. So in the back, it is a B pillar, fourth order, two to one ratio. I got six 12s back there, They're the 30 12s. Um, I think they're rated at about 2800 RMS a piece. Um, right now I only got about 2300 watts going to each one um, so they're just being pushed slightly so those subs I ran off two of the apocalypse AAK 8Ks these right here they're at 0.66 ohms and for the battery power, I got a 29 amp hour skid bank up here. And down there I got a 43 and a half amp hour skid bank. They're all the 2.9 uh, amp hour cells. And I got my bars from uh, Jim's Machine Works. And I uh, built them myself. I got the bars, I mean the, uh, the cells from Shriko. So I was real happy with that. Power in those. I got two JS alternators. Up top, I got a 370. And down there, I have a 400 amp JS alternator. Um, they do pretty good. I like them so far. Can't complain. Um, basically, got two runs of a 4 aught. It's actually a little bit bigger than 4 aught, but it's a secret. Uh, two runs of four aught for the back bank, and this is in a 2001 Ford Expedition. So that's the subs, the box, and the sub amps, and the power for my mids and highs. Um, in each door, I got three eights and a six and a half. Same for this door over here. I got the custom center console. I'll go around to the side. All my speakers are the uh, Sylvester's. So I got eights and six and a half. Um, my console that I built myself. I got an eight up front, a six and a half back here. And then like I said, in each door, I got three eights and a six and a half. They are the SEs. Um, I like them. I think you get a little bit of higher frequency response with them. Um, so they're pretty nice. Um, yeah, I got a stripper pole. I got a wood roof, uh, reinforced floor. I actually did some concrete in my floor just to see how it would work, because uh, I got bored one day. And it's held up great. I think it's about an inch and a half to two inches, depending on where it's at, of a uh, quick crete. And I use like the, I don't know, high pressure concrete mix. Um, and it's done well so far. So the way I got my mids powered up is a little different because I did my doors um, in kind of two stages. I used to have the custom uh, speaker pods from custom speaker pods. And so I had just a uh, six and a half and an eight up top and my center console. So with that, I was powering those speakers um, with one of the new machete uh, fight um, 4 220s. It's the uh, MFA 4 So I had that amp powering my doors and my center console. And then I decided to build these custom doors. Which I added to H as you can tell. So I had one of the Adam Plus 
the AAP uh, 400.4 sitting in my garage um, that I ran last year. So what I did was I just hooked those two extra speakers to the 400.4. which is up here. I got the 4220 right here, the 400.4 here. So this 400.4 is running two of the eights in each door. And it's also in the back, I got four of the Arnold six by nines. And that's running those as well. And these things scream, they are loud. I got them turned down now, um, but I like them man, they're great. Um, I really didn't want to do a stunt wall, but I had space back here. So I wanted to do a little something just to play some music back here. So the six and a, the six by nines worked great. And I think I already mentioned it, but it's the uh, 81 SE and then the 61 SE. They're all the Sylvester's. Um, besides the six by nines, which are the Arnold's. Also in my center console, I got a, geez, now I can't think of it. The T25 tweeters. I got two of them up here and two of them back here. Um, and then in my A pillars, what I did was I just kind of made my own pods. Up there, I got, the uh, MFT 25s um, because they are quite a bit smaller uh, than the T 25s and they have a still about the same wattage um, and response as the T 25s um, but I got these just kind of as a low profile to fit up there in my pod because it's it's right next to the glass um, and I got this handle right here. So I didn't want to fully redo everything. Um, so I kind of liked how those turned out. They're nice, subtle, and those things are loud. So I got the eight tweeters and I'm running all of them off one amp. It's the uh, machete, the uh, two channel 80 watt amp. So all my tweeters are four ohms. So I just took, you know, each setup to eight and then uh, parallel them back down to four and so all those tweeters all eight of the tweeters whoa are running off uh the new machete fight mfa uh 2.80 powerful little amp running all of them and i think that thing's still turned down because i cannot i cannot stand when it just screams and i'm telling you man these tweeters scream um, I got a Kenwood Echelon head unit um, it's the digital media player because yeah I got it in the dash so a CD player just keeps cutting off because of the face but it's just the uh, Kenwood Echelon KMM X705 uh, I like it's got good quality it's got a lot of settings on it I don't use half of them really it's got crossovers and stuff you can do but uh i run all my mids and highs through a prv dsp um it's okay um i get a little bit of static and it's like the more amps i hook up to it like each additional RCA that I plug up in there, I get just a little bit more static. Um, and I've even tried different amps. Um, so I'm not sure what the case is on that. But I mean, it works for now. Um, Cause I don't run like bass blockers on my tweeters. I just run everything through a DSP. But I got the 32 inch Insignia TV. I got the Xbox back here just for fun. Um, TV works. I got it ran off a 750 watt power inverter I got off Amazon. It does pretty good. Um, got a satellite hooked up to it. 
you can get the game and whatever else on here. I got a fire stick so you can use my phone as a hot spot and watch Netflix or really do whatever you want to do. It's TV, it works. Um, yeah, stripper pole. Did a video on it. I've done a video just um, about everything in here. Uh, made it myself, Harbor Freight. I fabbed up my own bracket support. I work at a metal fabrication shop, so I got a lot of buddies who weld. Um, sealed off. Um, fiberglass. I even got a fiberglass little, I don't know, piece of wood in there, help stiffen it up. I still got the AC in the back, cause it's got the AC system. So I got that up there. So I still run air conditioner in the back. Um, cause I wanted to keep the back look up here, stock and everything. Um, for cooling, I got four of the DB Works fans. And I'm telling you, they work great. Um, I'm super happy with them. Something in my shoe. I'm happy with them. They cool off the amps. Uh, I mean, they do make noise, but not as much as those turbo uh, fans. And like just sitting here, it's pretty warm. It's like 85 degrees outside right now. Um, Right now, it says my amps are like 91. Um, so I can flip a switch. That controls the fans. Like I said, they got some noise. But uh, I don't really have anything to put back there. A piece of paper. Maybe to show you. Here's a napkin. Or paper towel or whatever. Anyways. They do all right, they do pretty good. Uh, I mean, look, it was 91, it's already down to 83. This thing meters decent. Um, right now, I think my personal best on it is a 159.47 at a 46 Hertz. Um, yeah, it's at 46 Hertz and then It'll do a 150 at uh, 24 hertz as well. So, you know, that's decent. Man, if you got any questions, I'm gonna end this video right here. If you got any questions, just feel free to ask. Have a good day. Peace out. Hey folks down in now with depression, gotta be the light inside the dark place. Wake them up with the message. I know some folks have told me I would never make it. They said I'm probably in a bitter